Senator from Louisiana. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I want to talk a few minutes today about uh, House Bill 12. That's not House Bill 12 from the, Louisiana, from the uh, United States House of Representatives. That's House Bill 12 from the Louisiana House of Representatives. Why do I want to talk about it? Because it's important. It's important for my state, and I think it's important for other states. House Bill 12 passed the House, Louisiana House of Representatives yesterday, maybe it was the day before, by a vote of 18, 88 to 15, and it's headed to my Senate. Mr. President, as you know, it's frustrating. The, the American people can do things that take your breath away. We can, we can unravel the human genome. We can take a diseased human heart. We can do that in America and replace it with a new one and make it beat. We can send a person to the moon, but we can't seem to teach our children how to read and write when we have 18 years to do it. I don't come here this morning to assess blame. Our problem shared in other countries, that's no excuse. Our, our problem is caused by a multitude of factors. But I believe, Mr. President, and I bet you believe that every child can learn. Every child can learn. It's harder for some than others. I recognize that some of our children do not have a supportive home life. Not just in America, but in other parts of the world. Uh, it seems commonsensical to me, Mr. President, that if a parent does not love their child, the child is not going to stop loving the child's parent. The child is going to stop loving himself or herself. But I don't know how to fix that. Um, all we can do is continue to believe that every child can learn. Every child. My state, unlike or like other states, has a problem with elementary and secondary education. Over half of my children, my young people in Louisiana, are not reading at their grade level. And at some point, as a child is socially promoted in school and progresses, it almost becomes impossible for her for a child to learn if the child can't read. It's not just money. Go look at a list of uh, what states spend on elementary and secondary education. Not just states, but local government and the federal government as well. One of our states in America is spending $54,000 a year on their public schools. I mean, God bless them, but that's a lot of money. It's not just money. 
we, we've got to try and we've got to, we've got to be courageous enough to try new things that we think will work. Now, what does that have to do with House Bill 12 in the Louisiana State Legislature? Here's what House Bill 12 would do. It would, it would say, look, we're not, we're not blaming anyone, but if you are a child in, in the third grade in Louisiana and you can't read, according to objective standards at an acceptable level, then you're going to stay in the third grade. We don't care if you're 16 years old. We can hold you till you're 18, but we think you can learn. And you can't learn if you can't read. Now, that doesn't mean that, that the child just repeats the third grade with no help. We, we will assign that child special tutors. We will, we will um, assign that child special attention. We will give that child a number of, uh, of, of, of efforts to demonstrate that child's proficiency after getting the special tutoring and attention. But we think every child can learn. This approach has been tried in two other states. Mr. President, Mississippi and Florida. And it has worked in both states. Both states. We have copied it from Mississippi and Florida. We take no pride in, 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 of, of authorship, and, and uh, we, I'm always willing to copy other people's ideas that work and give them full credit. Um, let, me t let me just mention the success in Mississippi. And I hope my colleagues in the Louisiana legislature, I love every one of them, are listening to me. A, um, after Mississippi implemented its requirement that kids can't advance until they can read, uh, this is what one analysis says of the results of that effort. The results are stunning. In sixth grade, three, in sixth grade, three years after the intervention, retained students outperformed similar students by 1.2 standard deviations. A 0 0.8 effect size is generally considered large, with no measurable impact, none, on student absenteeism or special education classification. Negative indicators sometimes associate with retention. Those aren't my words. That came from an in-depth study at Boston University. This analysis goes on to say the magnitude of Mississippi's accomplishments with early reading is truly impressive and rightly deserves attention and replication by other states. For low-income black and Hispanic students, by 2019, Mississippi had risen to the top five of all the states on the fourth grade NAEP, with each group showing more than a year's additional progress since 2013. And I could go on. I could cite you similar analyses and statistics for the state of Florida. Every child can learn. It just requires a little extra attention and love for some of our children. Now, HB 12, in the Louisiana legislature would copy the program in Mississippi and Florida. It has passed, as it did last year, overwhelmingly, as I mentioned, in the Louisiana House of Representatives. Last year in the Louisiana House of Representatives, it passed overwhelmingly. This year, just recently, it passed by a vote of 88 to 15. Last year, when the bill went to my, my state Senate, the bill died. We're, we're, we're on our second try, and the bill is now before the Louisiana State Senate. Um, I know every member 
of my Louisiana State Senate. I respect all of them. And I am pleading with them. Please, please, please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Pass this bill. It's worked in other states. If it doesn't work in Louisiana, I'll, I'll, I'll come right to this, this lectern and say it didn't work. We tried it. We gave it our best shot, but it didn't work. But I think it will. And I think our kids deserve the chance. Every child can learn. Every child can learn. But some of our children need special attention. This bill, House Bill 12, before the Louisiana State Senate, will provide that attention. Please, members of my Senate, pass this bill. Mr. Chairman, or Mr. President, rather, uh, I yield to my colleague from Hawaii.